Chippity dobbity bam! Welcome to the Business MC channel. This setup, camera plus a lens, a microphone and a tripod, gorilla pod in this case, weighs 3.1 kilograms. A common statement of many YouTubers is, all you need is just a cell phone. Well, I just wonder why the heck aren't they making their videos only with their cell phones? Because it's bullshit. Equipment does matter. Let's talk about the importance of tech gear when starting YouTube and why you, like me, with high probability won't be a selfie vlogger on a daily basis. Like this. Ugh. Ugh. Way too heavy. In the first of two episodes, I'm gonna show you what the basic vlogging setup looks like. In the second video, I will give you a perfect look at all the equipment that we use here in the studio. I started the channel because I was fascinated by vloggers like Casey Neistat and it looked so easy just to film yourself throughout the day. I've tried that, but I found out what you need for an average video like those. And that's much more than you expect. Hmm, let me show you. First of all, a fairly good camera. Is that? With a good lens, battery pack, a memory card, which does not come with the camera, a microphone, plus cable and mount, and a dad cat. And last not least, a gorilla pod or any other tripod or stand or whatever you want to use. Why this thing is really handy, there are tons of videos out there about it. You can watch it. And yes, it's not the perfect tool for every situation, but it's my favorite when I'm on the road. But you need also a drone to make it look like Casey Neistat. This is my Mavic Air 2 and I crashed it. It's broken here. Battery pack, remote control, this tiny micro SD card. So far, that's pretty logical that you need these things. But here it comes. What I've learned the hard way, learning by doing, you always take with you at least a second battery pack and a second card, memory card. You thought about that? Okay, fair enough. I didn't expect to run out of it so often. But now it comes. Ever heard of an ND filter? That filters too bright light without affecting the colors when shooting outside on a sunny day. And it looks like, let me show you what it looks like. Let's go outside and film in a sunny bright day without an ND filter. Turn it on, record, shooting, rolling. Let's go outside. Way too dark, of course, inside the room, but follow me outside. And it's a fairly sunny day. Let's get back in. Back in the studio. For the R5, I don't have an ND filter yet because I usually don't shoot in bright sunlight, but it was an issue last time when I was shooting um, on the roof of my house because in the morning, the sun was already too bright, way too bright. But I could film with my drone because I have an ND filter for the drones. Looks like this. Uh, never be found again. Plus, you need a card reader. Card reader, please. This is a card reader. If your laptop or computer doesn't have a built-in card reader, then you'd probably need a second lighter, maybe a prime lens, because this one's 
way too heavy for vlogging like that the lens itself is 1.5 kilograms and it's impossible to film yourself selfie style and reasonably stable for more than a few minutes by the way a lens comparison comes in part two linked at the end of this video and finally you need a bag up like this to put everything in it So why the heck would they carry around all this stuff when the same can be done with just an iPhone? And when starting a channel, you mostly do this on the side like me. So you might also have another bag with you. This is my daily carry bag. Just my MacBook in there, a bit of paperwork, my iPad, wallet, keys. Looking and feeling like a back horse. Like a back horse with a big bag on the back, with a battery pack on the back, in the bag, on the back. Looking like a pack horse, and believe me, that's not comfortable at all. Especially when you're trying to get your keys out to unlock a door. What I still don't get, and believe me, because I've tried it out, is to shoot a vlog episode while running. I mean, running when the backpack is pumping against your back. Horrible. Setting up a scene again and again at different locations in the middle of other people. Greatest respect for everyone who's doing that. So, my guess why they are all carrying this whole bunch of stuff and the camera and probably another bag is because they want to make high quality videos to compete against the huge competition. There are more than 51 million channels and creators are uploading more than 500 hours of content every minute. Sad, but true. All this expensive gear is not a guarantee for a good video, neither for gaining a big audience. As I mentioned, everything we use in the studio here at Creators Corner Graz in part two of the video. So stay tuned and open-minded. Tschüss und baba. Ah. One more thing. If you're interested in visiting Creators Corner Studio, you're welcome. Just write an email to hoy at creatorscorner.com.com. Bye.